Growing up, I felt like a normal kid. Until I was about eight years old, I noticed there was something different about my feet. My fourth toe, it stopped growing while the rest of my foot just kept growing. I hated it that I had to hide something. I didn't like my feet and I didn't feel like a normal kid because of that. It made me feel very self-conscious. I've never learned how to swim, but then I got water shoes and I was able to go to the pool a little more often, but people always wondered, why are you wearing shoes to the pool? In prom, when everyone else took their shoes off, I danced with my socks on with my formal dress. I always wear socks. During the summer, I always have to wear shoes that just cover my toes while everyone else is wearing their sandals. I get blisters because it rubs against the shoe, so sometimes I have to get a bigger size. I can go to the beach, get a pedicure, the normal things that any woman really does. I don't like looking down. I really don't. I'm actually dating someone at the moment, and he's never seen my feet, and I never want him to ever see them. Crystal recently went to podiatrist Dr. Ali Riza Kasrobadi for help, and we were able to tag along. Okay, so this condition is called brachymetatarsia, and patients start noticing between 8 and 10. This is actually very common, but the reason you don't see it on other people is because they're hiding it, just like you have. The good news is we can fix this for you. This is where the problem is. This bone is shorter, so in return, the toe stays back, and usually it kind of floats on the top. What we're gonna do is put this small rail device that stays out of your skin, and it has four pins that go through the bone, and then now uh, we have to cut the bone in order for us to kind of stretch the bone. So we're gonna be growing your own bone. You just turn an Allen wrench at home once or twice a day, stretching your bone about a half a millimeter a day. And once we're done and we take the device off, uh, it would be as like you never had this condition. Sounds good. So we're gonna fix both of these toes for you. I'm gonna mark him. One, two. They're gonna look different when you come out. Okay. The reason we're wearing lead is because I'm gonna operate right under C-arm, which is live x-ray. So there's gonna be a lot of radiation. We're gonna insert one pin right here, another one right there, another one here, and this is where we're gonna cut our bone. So we're drilling right into the bone. We're at the center of the bone right now, so that's exactly where we want to be. So this is the last pin, and after, we're gonna cut the bone completely through and through. If you listen carefully enough, you're gonna hear the pitch change. Two of them are moving, the other two are straight. That means we've broke the bone. Once we start lengthening, the toe has a tendency to kind of stick up. So what I usually do, I wire the K-wire down and attach it to the external fixation. Now we're going to move on to the left foot. Okay, surgery is done. We're going from sad face to happy face. Looks perfect. 